I want to go over a, a few problems with you then on the smart notes. And I actually have some bad news. Let's say it's like three years from now, it's the holidays, and all the folks in charge of the uh, missile silos are having a holiday party, have a little too much spiked eggnog. <laughs> when they made their way back to the control center, they thought they was playing a video game, <laughs> and they weren't. So a year after the nuclear war that ensued, now there's radioactivity everywhere, okay? So now when you're trying to figure out where do we live with all the radioactive fallout, well, it becomes important for you to pick a city where there's just not much radioactivity. And you know when you buy a home, the three most important things, location, location, location. All the more so now. Like Wichita, Kansas, where there's a normal distribution of, uh, of radioactivity. And on a good day, with the wind blowing in the correct direction, you can send your kids out to play for five minutes in a row. It's awesome. As opposed to other locations where there's a little bit more radioactivity, like let's say Little Falls, New Mexico, where the mean is 3.3 sievers, okay, of, of radioactivity. So, <clears throat> Daddy, why is this wing set glowing? <laughs> Don't worry, Jimmy. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. Look on the bright side. Sorry, the bright side, okay. And Christmas, we ain't got to go string up any lights. It's awesome, okay. Now, Eat your spam and go back to the bunker. So here, we are to all that just really bad. By the way, I just want to tell you, I purposely picked a town that didn't exist so as not to offend anybody. There is no Little Falls, New Mexico. It would be funny, though, if there was a Little Falls and everybody there had narcolepsy. Okay. <laughs> little Falls. Again, under program. Oh, no, you did not. Yes, I did. Okay, thank you.